I've got an unboxing that, like always, I'm really excited about. So, without wasting time, without talking a whole lot, let's get to unboxing and playing with this new toy. So, in here, we have our laptop. This will be the last uh, 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 unboxing. I know I did one earlier, but I had issues with it. I sent it back, and we got a refund. Well, the person that bought it got a refund, and then we, well, he paid the difference, and now I have this. This is the Asus G750JH, the DB71. The price fluctuates a lot. It was $2,400 when I got it, but as of today, it's only $2,200. It is a quite impressive model. Well, that shows the serial number and the warranty. And on this side, you can see that it comes with uh, one year of international warranty, two-way something, zero bright dot guarantee. You get ASUS accident drop protection. So you do get some warranty through ASUS. And I'm very aware now that I've been saying that wrong. It's ASUS, ASUS, <laughs> I'm just, it's just one of those things like when I first started YouTube videos back in the transform days, I said Wi-Fi teether and I said wipe your cache. <laughs> it's wipe your cache and it's Wi-Fi tether. So I'm going to say As ASUS, I almost said it again, ASUS, As ASUS, not ASUS, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I know how it's said, i just so used to saying it the other way. I'm gonna have to break that habit if I can get this thing open. Come on, come on. All right, so right here we have the main star of the show. This is the actual device. I will set that down here to the side while we go in here, which is our You get like a little strap or cable tie thing. You get a cleaning cloth with the Seuss branding. You get instruction booklet. Um, oh, this is awesome. Comes with a free code for Assassin's Creed. I've never played a single Assassin's Creed. So I will be redeeming this code and playing Assassin's Creed 4. And I'm gonna be, <laughs> sorry about the cut. My, do uh, my camera battery was dead. Luckily I have two batteries for my a Canon 330HS and my DSLR. So uh, yeah, it comes with Assassin's Creed 4. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that out because I'm gonna redeem that. I'm gonna play the game. And I'm gonna test out this GTX 780. Uh, this thing has the GTX 780. That's why it's uh, an upgrade from the GTX 770, which there's actually a very big increase in like the CUDA cores or whatever, going from the 770 to the 780. And in here, we have our power brick, which is ginormous since this one requires more power. You can see the information right here. I'll let it focus for just a second. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty massive thing. It's like 200 and something watts, uh, somewhere around, along those lines. So this, uh, this, <laughs> this thing is massive, it's huge. So we'll set that to the side too. So put that over here, put that in there, and then we will open this side up, and this is just our normal thing, nothing different about this. Need that cable, set that to the side, and then the battery, which is the same as the other one, comes with a little instruction thing. So I didn't really let you before, so I'll, I'll do it this time. There's the uh, battery information, the uh, watt hours and stuff like that. So in case you're curious, uh, now let's get to the good stuff, man. Are you ready? Cause I sure as hell am. <laughs> All right, looks very, very, very similar to all the G750 uh, things. From what I've heard is the back is a little different. The, uh, it's more, 
It's got more of a lift right here, so it hovers it up higher off the table. I actually use a laptop cooling stand. It came with fans, but I don't ever use the fans because, uh, well, this one does have vents on the bottom, so the fans might come in handy. Before I power it on, I want to show you that there's a subwoofer on it. And right here, you just have one little screw. And then you lift up. And here's the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing about this laptop. It's got two micro SATA SSDs in uh, RAID 0, meaning these two 128 gigs are acting as one 256 gig SSD. So you're going to get crazy, crazy. Uh, there's a YouTuber by the name of Gentech PC, if I have that correct. I will try to remember to link to his unboxing or, or or his channel in the description below. But he got over a thousand megabytes per second on the read, and like I think six or seven hundred on the right. So very impressive numbers. And then you have your one terabyte five thousand four hundred RPM hard drive. I'm actually going to invest in a one terabyte Samsung Evo SSD and I'm going to put it in there because once you get used to how quickly your computer pulls files from an SSD, it's so, 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 so hard to go from here, especially if you enable camera upload on your phone and it uploads all those files to Dropbox and then it's loading the files from Dropbox on here. It just takes forever for those little tiny pictures to finally generate the thumbnails and this, look at this. So, two sticks are actually hidden underneath the motherboard. You'd have to take this entire back casing off to get to those two sticks. So, uh, on the other one, uh, you have 4 gigs, 4 gigs, 4 gigs, 4 gigs for a total of 16 gigabytes. This one has 8 gigs, two 8 gig sticks that are underneath the motherboard, and then one 8 gig stick right here, and then a free slot right here. So, you get 24 gigs by default. And uh, I'm going to um, match this exact RAM model. It requires the DDR3L, the low profile, low voltage RAM. And it's called PC3L. It's 1.35 volts. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on eBay and try to find an exact match of this model. And I'm going to put an 8 gig in there. So I'm going to have 32 gigabytes of RAM in this thing with the GTX 780 processor an i7 4770 or 4700. It's gonna be like a beast machine, especially with this freaking RAID 0 SSD. I can't wait, cannot wait to turn this thing on. So, <laughs> sorry for talking, I'm just a freaking computer nerd and this is just, this is impressive. Eight gigs, eight gigs, eight gigs, throw an eight gig in there and have 32 gigs. For right now, I'll have 24 gigs, which is very, that's, <laughs> That's darn good. You can't, you can't complain at all. And it's 1600 megahertz RAM, so it's pretty darn fast. All right, so that one screw, that's back on there. Let's turn this thing on. Oh, before I do that, I will go ahead and show you the outside. This does have a Blu-ray drive. That was another really, uh, between the GTX 770 and the 780, the RAID 0 SSD configuration where you have two SSDs working as one, for a super fast drive, plus the Blu-ray, that was just another really big reason why uh, I wanted to get this upgrade. So this is the Kensington Lock, the 2 USB 3.0, the Blu-ray disc. It's a Blu-ray DVD writer combo. I don't know if it just reads Blu-rays and writes and reads DVDs. And it also has a little slot where you can manually eject it if it gets stuck. But I'm gonna test and see if it writes Blu-rays. Um, if it does write Blu-rays, that's awesome. If it doesn't, Asus makes a uh, USB 3.0 Blu-ray reader and writer that I've been wanting to get for a while now, and I'll just probably get that. Oh, and oh, one thing I discovered about the G750JX, which is the other model, this actually does SDXC. When you plug in a SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card that I use, you get 72 megabytes per second read from the card to your computer's SSD. And you get like even faster um, going from your SSD to the flash drive. So you do not, I repeat, you do not need to purchase or use a USB 3.0 card reader. I have a USB 3.0 card reader, but honestly, 
I'm less reluctant to use it now, considering the fact that this card reader is fast and it's not slowing me down. So you have nothing but your lights on this side, and then on this side, you've got your audio, your microphone, headphones, two USB 3, Thunderbolt, HDMI, gigabit ethernet, and BJ and power. This thing comes with killer wireless in instead of wireless AC. Uh, killer wireless in is supposed to have like very low latency and it's supposed to be like optimized for gaming. With the data transfer speed of like 300 megabits per second, the wireless AC, I got 866 megabits per second. My internet is 120 megabit per second down and 25 megabit up. So with 300 megabit per second link speed, I should be able to get my whole wireless connection just fine without using wired. So that's a, that's a plus. I could live with wireless in killer over wireless AC. Anyways, so I'm super excited. I'm sorry. I know I talk a lot. All right. I don't know why it's not focusing properly. Come on. All right. So we have this little thing right here. It's a Zeus G750. Gear up with G750 and get Assassin's Creed 5 Black Flag for free. So you get the new one for free. It's showing you that it comes with the killer wireless in. Like I said, 300 megabits per second. I should be able to use my 125 megabit per second download and my 25 megabit per second upload wirelessly without being wired. So that's awesome. And then exclusive headphone amp. So that's pretty cool. And this is the, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I am, I am like beyond thrilled. So it does have the branding. You have, I'll show you. So you do get the GTX 780M. So that's top of the line, four gigabytes of GDDR5 video memory. And here's the Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It does feel like it's a little bit of a bump there. So you could probably scrub that off or remove it if you really wanted to. It doesn't bother me. So that's cool. And then Republic of Gamers. And I, I got my numbers wrong. I guess that's the newest Assassin's Creed. I don't know. I've never played a single one of the series, so I'm not like <laughs> I don't know which one's newer than the other All right, so let's turn it on for the very first time and see how fast I just I like I've been used to I've, I've had a I've had a 480 gigabyte Corsair Force GT SSD for like Over a year now. I love it. It's freaking awesome. I get like 495 megabit per second write or read or something again it's it's just really impressive numbers this is like double that this is like having two of those crazy fast ssds in raid zero except they're the micro versions which still give you the same speeds if not faster so i'm just i'm just complete ah i can't even talk man this is exciting this is just yes i've had more than one nerdgasm in this unboxing so far so Asus. All right, so it does pick up five gigahertz. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi, and then I'm gonna press connect here, and I'm gonna use Express Settings for now, and uh, I'm gonna sign in without a Microsoft account. I'm gonna choose a local account, and then I'm gonna name it Josh, and then I'm gonna hit finish, and we're gonna see just how long this takes. Uh, I can't wait to do a reboot and see, you know, <laughs> I can't wait. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take because this, I'm telling you, this, this is like having two SSDs working as one. So it's going to be, anytime it's pulling a file, it's pulling it from a super fast drive. It's, it's like my mind is just blown. Like I, <laughs> oh man, I can only imagine how someone feels that has graphics cards in RAID 0. So, uh, you do, or not RAID 0, but SLI, I'm, I'm, uh, I know, to, I know how to make a computer, I've just never built like a high performance one. Um, you got two microphones, like, so we have stereo or whatever, just two microphones. And you have an HD 720p front camera, so that's pretty cool. If you want to Skype or do Google Hangouts, you can do it in HD. So, let's fit, let this finish up. And really quick, uh, for, with this kind of computer, you can't just choose to make, oh, it's flashing on the camera, but it's not really flashing. Um, with this computer, you can't just make recovery DVDs. You have to download this tool called Asus Back Tracker, 
Backtracker is one word, B-A-C-K-T-R-A-C-K-E-R, -E and you'll need a 16 gigabyte flash drive, and you need a flash drive that you're not gonna use again. Once you make your backup, it uses all the storage on this thing, and then you need to take this flash drive, you need to set it to the side. What I recommend doing is taking it and putting it inside the box that your computer came with, just in case the SSDs die, you take the two micro SATAs and you put like, I don't know, two, uh, two 512 or two 256 gig micro SATA SSDs in there, which by the way, if you were to upgrade and put two like 512s in there, you'd have one terabyte um, of micro SATA SSDs in RAID 0 configuration. Anyways, you could uh, take this, use a SUS back tracker, put your, it would back up your entire computer on here, and then you'd be able to put this inside your computer, press escape while it's booting up, and boot from this flash drive, and you'd be able to restore your computer back to day one. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's why I got this thing, because uh, you can't use it again. You just can't. So we're here to our home screen. I'm gonna go to my wireless here. I'm gonna go to open network sharing. I'm going to press on my Wi-Fi. Oh, look at that. If it'll focus, that's 300 megabits per second. It's not like 866 megabits per second that I got with wireless AC because I have a Linksys RTAC 6XU router, which is like the best router I've ever freaking had, ever. But, uh, so it's still very, very fast. All right, I just hit restart like a few seconds ago and then I press record. So we're gonna see just how long this takes. All right. This is a restart, so it's not like it's got the quick boot thing set up. So I don't know how, I've, I, I didn't set a timer, unfortunately. And so I'll just press Windows D. With Windows 8.1, you get it as a free upgrade by simply, I have a video that I'll link to in the description on how to upgrade to Windows 8 for free, or Windows 8.1 for free. And so it's not like insane, but Windows 8.1 does boot up your computer a lot faster than Windows 8 does. So it'll be nice to see how fast that is. But what I wanted to do was simply go to speed test. Go to speedtest.net. Let me, I'm gonna go to speedtest.net here and then I'm going to just let it find a recommended server. Keep in mind, I'm in my bedroom. Like my router is literally like, we got the bedroom, my daughter's room, the living room, and then my router's against the living room wall towards the door which is like, uh, I'm literally as far as I can possibly get away from it in this apartment. So we're going to go ahead and go up here and, and hit begin test. And I can also tell you that my modem is flashing one of the lights, letting me know that it's not running optimally. So I'm probably not gonna get like a crazy, like the full 120 down. We'll see. Wow, okay. So 85, that's not too bad. Oh, 100, nice. So I'm getting 101, or no, dang it, go back. <laughs> I got 100 for a second there. But uh, so this is like as far away as I can possibly get from the router. And this is directly after, you know, first setting this computer up. I don't even have a single program installed. I haven't disabled UAC. I haven't done anything at all custom. So this, uh, this is pretty impressive. I'm going to get my whole wireless connection, like, wireless. I don't have to worry about freaking... <laughs> oh, I got to be wired to get... Oh, look at that. Look at that. 100? No. Go back to... It was at 116 for a second there. Or 117. 110, 112. It, nice. Nice. I was hoping with the 300 megabit per second link speed that my internet wouldn't be slow or wireless. Because if you have, like, wireless... If you have 2.4 gigahertz wireless and you're only going at 72 megabit per second link speed, you're not going to get speeds that fast. You're just not. So that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's all, it's been a while, I know, but trust me, I'm just oh, I'm just I'm just so excited. This is crazy. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'll put links to my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus. Uh, get the PS4 and Xbox One next month when they come out. Watch, wow, it's it's like three days away from November 1st, so 
very, very soon. So yeah, all the links are in the description below. This is what we're trying to do, and I'm out.